vlog this from here so that when I hit the road, you guys don't see street signs of my house. Anyway, we are going on a road trip. We are headed to Alberta and we're gonna be vlogging the entire way. And when I say we, it's because this one has finally agreed to be on camera. Oh. <laughs> and it's gonna be really awesome because he's super awkward about it. So <laughs> it'll be so worth watching these vlogs, I promise you. So this is a three-day adventure. Me up. The, I know, right? <laughs> the last time I went to Alberta, I vlogged that trip as well, and you guys loved those videos. It's a beautiful drive. I'm hoping the weather stays good the entire way. But yeah, we're gonna go to Revelstoke tonight, which is about five and a half hours away from where we are right now. So we're gonna hit the road, and then I will check in with you guys in a little bit when I am not behind the steering wheel. So the entire purpose of this road trip came about because my soon-to-be ex-husband, we are still legally married as we have been for the last like three and a half years, but we've been legally separated. Um, we have a car that is jointly registered in mine and his name. So long story short, he refused to renew my registration and he has all of the documentation to do it. So I couldn't do it online like a normal person would. I couldn't do anything. Basically, he blocked me from doing it at all. He does these things. Oh, I can't talk about this stuff. I just realized I went into like a whole conversation about why I'm going on this trip and I can't talk about any of it because I don't want to share that information with my son. But long story short, my ex refused to renew my registration so I am driving to Alberta with my boyfriend and we are going to vlog the trip for you guys because I love the trip and Alex has never been on camera. It took a lot of convincing to like have him be on the camera for this trip and I'm glad that he's doing it, but he's not super comfortable on camera, so it's gonna be like a learning experience for him. But we're going to go, I think, all the way to Revelstoke tonight. That's the game plan, which is just a little over half of the way there. And then tomorrow we'll drive from Revelstoke to Banff, renew my insurance, turn around, and drive to Kamloops, Kelowna. Kelowna, Kamloops, where are we going tomorrow? Kamloops, Kelowna, where are we going? Uh, Kamloops, what is it? I think, yeah. So we're gonna flip around and drive all the way to Kamloops, which is about like a good seven hours, and then spend the night in Kamloops and then come home on Sunday, because that's only about three hours, so we could spend like a good portion of the day in Kamloops before we come back. Um, yeah, I think that's really all. I mean, it's gonna be a fun trip. We'll like probably eat at some diners and vlog the food, and I'll vlog the scenery. It's a beautiful drive, so that part of it I don't mind so much. I just don't like the fact that like I'm being forced to do it. Like I like to take this trip when I choose to go visit my friends or when my parents were there, but to be forced to go do this trip is a little frustrating for me. So anyway, that is what I'm doing this weekend. The boys are at home with Marcel because nine hours there and nine hours back with very few stops just didn't seem like a logical thing to do to bring the children to so we're doing it adults only this weekend and it's also our one month anniversary tomorrow so we're gonna kind of make that a little bit special on the way okay we made it we are in Kamloops we didn't make it anywhere yet we're in Kamloops we are stopping to eat because we are starving and we've been driving four hours uh, about about four hours so we are going to Mr. Mike's which is like my favorite place to get bad food because I'm gonna get french fries here for sure. For sure. It's a cheat day. It's a cheat day. <laughs> We're deciding what to eat. How's the menu look? Don't make that face. It looks like a menu. It's what looks good though. The point of vlogging is that you have to show them things. You can't just make ugly faces whenever I tilt the camera. That's all I do. That's all I'm good at. You're not gonna make ugly faces. I'm gonna get this. This is the um, bacon Mike burger. So good. I'm gonna get that. I'm just gonna sit here and film you until you decide what you're gonna eat. I'm tempted to get ribs, but I don't know. They look really good. Yeah. They look yummy. Alex is thinking of getting ribs. He's a meat eater. He's a meatitarian. I like potato skins to start, or do you want spinach and artichoke dip? Or shrimp? Those are your options. Because those are the only three things I want. <laughs> this is how we this is how we go for dinner. Well like decide so what we're gonna eat and then I'll like show him the appetizers I want and he has to pick from them. What about bacon wrapped scallops? What about no? You must like I don't, bacon wrapped scallops. No, I like scallops but I don't like the bacon wrapped. And you like bacon? No. You I want the bacon off. this one, this one, or that one. The camera can't see where you're pointing. Okay, I want either the spinach and artichoke <laughs> dip, the panko shrimp, which is like one of my favorite things, or the Pemberton skins, but he gets to decide. You are the final decision maker, sir. This is Alex's thinking face. I don't know why he wears his jacket from restaurants. That makes no logical sense either. Why are you wearing this? What have you decided, sir? I think you should decide. I should decide? He's letting me pick. What a gentleman. I think he's doing that because he doesn't feel like either of those three things, so he doesn't care what I get. He'll just eat whatever I get. 
Is that about accurate? I prefer shrimp or the potato uh, I was thinking the artichoke dip would probably be too much food. So I'm trying to decide between shrimp or Pemberton skip. And I think I think shrimp is probably better. I would go shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Potato skins are gonna be carby. Yeah. But it's a cheat weekend. Really? Alex told me it's a cheat weekend. That's mainly because I told him that I'm dying to be served blueberry pancakes in bed. So whatever hotel we stay at tomorrow night, we they have to have like room service breakfast or Alex is gonna have to go to like IHOP and get them to make me fresh blueberry pancakes and bring them to me in bed. That's the game plan. I'm not leaving that bed. You're leaving that bed. You're leaving that bed. He's not leaving the bed. What are you gonna do in the bed the whole day? <laughs> you guys can't see the hand gesture, so you don't understand why I'm laughing right now. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this nonsense. This is my burger. And this is french fries, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. And gravy. Alex got the steak sandwich. Steak sandwich. With the onion rings. And we had this amazing shrimp appetizer, but it is gone. Well, Alex is having the last one. How is it? It's good, right? Wow. He's never had, he had never had sweet chili before, so I got sweet chili. And he liked that. I only like shrimp if I can dip it in sweet chili. I'm really strange. I don't like panico shrimp like by itself. And now I'm gonna stuff some fries and gravy into my mouth. So, any of you who watch my weight loss videos, this is my cheat weekend. So, Alex is being mean to me. Who are you giving the finger? <laughs> he told me that I should bring a bib the next time we go out to eat because, for whatever reason, every time I go out to eat, I spill crap on myself. It's like I'm not capable of eating like a normal human being. I have no hand eye coordination. I will tell you, Mr. Mike's is amazing. It's been a really long time since I've eaten here. Love it. I absolutely love it. The bur make bacon Mike burger was so good. I actually didn't finish it. Alex is gonna finish off oh, yeah. the last of it for me and his steak sandwich. Cause he's a manly man. You need to call me a pussy because I don't feel like dude. That's true. I'm normally like on his butt and I call him like a man, a girl man. But seriously, yeah, like no, literally, this was, and this wasn't even like the last bite, this was the first bite, right? Yeah, one of the first. Yeah. One of the first bites. I went to take french fry with gravy into my mouth and it like landed on my breast. And I was like, and he wonders why I bring seven changes of clothing for a three day weekend. And I was trying to explain to him, like, I need a night outfit and a morning outfit and then an in between outfit. But actually, it's more like I need clean clothes because by the end of this, I'm probably not gonna have any. <laughs> or do I have it on my face? I'm pretty good at vlogging, it's on my oh. face. <laughs> do I have gravy on my face? I better not have gravy on my face. Uh, it was good, right? It was really good. Yeah, it was good. We're, we're satisfied. Alex is not even close to done. He still has like a quarter of a burger, which is super messy. There's dessert coming? According to Alex, there's dessert coming. We haven't even looked at a dessert menu yet. Ah, uh, later tonight, there's dessert coming. Chocolate fudge. Oh. I can't even explain these references to you guys because I have a feeling someday one of Alex's family members may watch one of these videos and it will come back to bite me in the butt. So I'm not going to explain to you the inside joke about chocolate fudge, but I'm pretty sure anyone with half a brain could probably put it together. Did you remember? <laughs> what? Did you remember to pack the fudge? Yeah, I packed the fudge. You fudge packer. <laughs> You're eating yours and not mine. Mine tastes better. One thing at a time. I'm sure yours does hit <laughs> We are full and I am energetic. You know what would have been a great memory? What would have been a great memory? Stealing I don't know how tall you are, so it's hard for like, me to know where to vlog you. Okay. Stealing a piece from the chessboard. No! Alice wants to like. Look at this! <laughs> Um, so in Mr. Mike's they have like a game section where you can like pick up a chessboard or you can pick up a checkers board And so Alex has decided that we should have stole the piece. Alex is also sick So if you hear like somebody hacking up a lung behind me anywhere on this trip, it's most likely him So um, Yeah, he thinks we should have stole because I'm always talking about creating memories you guys know like, my big thing is memories <laughs> Keep the chessboard on your. You could steal the queen he, for you. Oh, you should have stole the queen for me, baby. Although it's kind of romantic that he even thought about that. <laughs> okay, so we're back in the car. We're gonna go fill up with gas and get some like something. I don't know, water. I'm probably gonna get a chocolate bar. Let's be real. Let's get a coke. Oh, and it smoked my nail. <laughs> get a load of this shit, Mister. I don't want to be on camera. It's like 
I don't want to be the center of attention. I can't help myself when you do something stupid like that. <laughs> My nipple. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on the internet. That's good. Yeah, do not do that. Oh my god, you guys, I apologize in advance. I really didn't think your first introduction to my amazing boyfriend was gonna be my amazing boyfriend on like overtired road trip craziness. He's cute though, right? We should keep him. Should we keep him? We should keep him. What do you mean, no? So I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see exactly what I'm seeing for the majority of this drive because we left so late because Alex had to work today. So this is literally what I'm driving through right now. We're headed into Salmon Arm, which is a little tiny town in BC. And you literally can't see anything 10 feet in front of you. You can see about 10 feet in front of you, and that's about it. Unless the semi truck is coming up the other side, then you see his bright ass lights blinding you until he passes you. But yeah, there are beautiful parts of this drive, especially if you do it in the daytime. See what I mean about semi trucks? Yeah, that guy's going fast. Um, there are beautiful parts of this drive if you do it in the daytime, but at nighttime, it's just like you just want to get to your destination because you can see jack shit. Well, you also don't want to speed because you can't see jack shit. Yeah, and it's lots of like curves and crazy roads. And like like Alex was saying back there, your shoulder is literally the cliff. There is shoulder. no shoulder. So shoulder. If, if you are going off the shoulder, shoulder <laughs> if you are going off the shoulder, you're going to go off the cliff, essentially. Okay, you can turn. <laughs> oh God. Hi guys. So we made it to Revelstoke. <laughs> you guys don't even want to know why I'm laughing right now. We made it to Revelstoke. It is 11.21. <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> it is, it is 11.21 and I'm really proud of myself because I wanted to stop in, where did I want to stop, baby? Sycamore. No, before Sycamore. I wanted to stop Salmon in Arm. Salmon Arm because I was tired and I just wasn't sure that I could make it. I get like really nervous driving at night and like I don't push myself as hard as I probably should. So anyway, we made it to Revelstoke. We are here now. Alex went and hid in the bathroom, so I can't even show you guys him right now. But um, look at all the crap. Okay, so this is like my weekend. So this is like my electronic section, and that is my bed section. <laughs> look at all these clothes. Isn't this sick? This is all the clothes I brought for two days of vacation. That's how I roll. This is how I roll. No, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get changed and ready for bed. Alex is getting ready for bed, I'm assuming. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna leave pretty early in the morning, 7 a.m. We're gonna have the hotel free breakfast. And then we are going to, oh my God, I have to show you guys something. Okay, so my boyfriend is super old school. I'm like super old school. You guys have no idea. And I'm sure you've heard that before. Like somebody call their boyfriend old school. My boyfriend is so old school, no joke, he has a tape collection. Do you guys see this? These are genuine cassette tapes. Alex brought those just in case, you know, I want to have something to listen to in the car. Let's see what his taste in music is. I don't know what this is. Hmm, interesting. No idea what this is. Um, don't know what this is. Alright, well, so far we're, uh, we're doing good here. And then this one he picked up just because he knows how much I like country. This is Super Country 88. Yep, my boyfriend's old. Actually, he's three years younger than me. Alex just turned 30. But he's like far more like wise and older in years, I guess is the way you want to say it. I don't know. I don't actually know how to say it. I'm just saying it that way. I was showing them your amazing tape collection, baby doll. Sweet. This is Alex being Alex. Being me. He's good at it's that. It's not easy being me. Is it hard being you? But it's worth it. Look at these dirty, disgusting hands. Ugh. You love these hands. I love those hands. I don't know, don't you? <laughs> I do. And then this is our double bed because Alex wants to sleep in one bed and I'm gonna sleep in the other bed because, right hun? That's why you got two beds so we can sleep in separate beds? Right, we're saving ourselves for- we're, sa we're saving ourselves for marriage, although I have two children, so I don't know. Anyway, Alex's bed, which is <laughs> covered in clothes, and my bed. And I'm gonna get changed now and get ready for bed and go to sleep. I will see you guys in the morning. <sighs> Good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday. We are currently getting ready to go. I'm like, okay, so this is what I pack for skincare when I take a trip. I have a little bit of an obsession with skincare. I can't imagine like being away from home without things that I need. I can't get my toothbrush out. And my toothpaste, but yeah, so that's like my skincare over there, and that is like my deodorant, my hand cream, my hairbrush. So we're going from here all the way to Banff. Banff is in Alberta. We're almost in Alberta now, like we're in Revelstoke, which is almost at the line. Um, it's about three more hours, and then we're hoping to turn around 
and drive back like another six hours like nine hours in total of driving today because we want to go back to Kamloops tonight to spend the night it's just a busier city and it's kind of our anniversary night um, so that is the hope that we will flip around and go back to Kamloops 